President Bola Ahmed Tinubu says he is adopting a multifaceted approach to solving the insecurity challenges in the country. The president stated this as part of proceedings of News Agency of Nigeria's maiden annual international lectures addressing terrorism, banditry, kidnapping and militancy under the theme Insecurity in the Sahel 2008-2024, to Nigeria's Challenges, Genesis, Impacts and Options held in Abuja today. Let's hear the details of the reporters covered by ADBN correspondent Peace Ogene Bawe. Ahmed Tinubu, represented by National Security Advisor Malam Nohu Ribadu, issued a strong warning to corrupt elements in the Sahel region. We have also taken steps to improve governance through strengthening institutions, promote, promoting accountability, and ensuring inclusive decision making. Even those who corrupt people, be careful. It will come to you. I am happy that with the renewed onslaught by our gallant troops against enemies of our nation in the northeast and northwest, our citizens can now have a sigh of relief. Former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, highlighted the factors enabling insecurity as he praised the event's significance. Permit me to note, however, that at the heart of the insecurity in this region, among other factors, are the undercurrents of poverty, unemployment, proliferation of small arms and light weapons. Weak governance and the institutional failures, as well as climate change and environmental degradation. Not only must we work together to find solutions to our country's security challenges, we indeed owe ourselves, our children, and the future generations the duty to create a safer and more prosperous nation. Meanwhile, Chief of Defense Staff General Christopher Musa, in his goodwill message, called for collaborative efforts to end insecurity in the Sahel. Most of those causing this uh, insecurity are targeting Nigeria as a whole because they feel Nigeria has the population, Nigeria has the resources, Nigeria is blessed. So everybody is targeting Nigeria. We must ensure that they are stable. So we equally must put our house in order. We must work together. The challenges we are facing is a Nigerian challenge. It's not the armed forces challenge or the president's challenge alone. It's a Nigerian challenge. Nigerians must take ownership of it. And the only way we can do that is by working together. Earlier in his opening remarks, Minister of Information and National Orientation, al Haji Mohammed Idris, emphasized security as key component of President Tinubu's Renewed Hope agenda, stating federal government's commitment in fighting banditry and terrorism. Nigeria shares a long and porous border with several significant governments that are caught up in this problem, making us vulnerable to this global sense of the government. This not only threatens our security, but also challenges our capacity to maintain effective control over our borders. Security has made a top priority of the border and the Chinese renewable agenda. And through investment in equipment, manpower, a position of war fighting platforms and intelligence gathering, we are winning the war against insecurity gradually. The lecture aims to examine the root causes of violence in the Sahel and offer strategic policy solutions. Peace or Genegbawe, ADBN News.